All right, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put your songs on your iDevice and also be able to like edit the thumbnails while it's on there and being able to pull them off without a jailbreak. All right, so I'm going to show you what a couple of these programs will do. Now, if you take a look at the list in my iPod here, you can see that I got thumbnails, I got the text and stuff. I'm going to show you how to be able to modify all that while it's on your device and being able to pull the songs off the device and put it onto your computer. Copy Trans Control Center, what that will do is allow you to edit those thumbnails, the text and whatever on the device. Now, my iPod is not jailbroken, so this will work for all of you. SharePod, what this will do is it'll allow you to take the songs off of your device and put it back onto your computer. So that's really handy. I have YouTube downloader. I don't recommend using this for getting songs. I recommend you buying them. But um, I'm going to be using Bob's um, music here as a demonstration. I already have the link set up in YouTube downloader. So I'm going to hit download. If you have songs that have um, like screwed up parts in the beginning or whatever, you can just use Audacity to cut out those parts and save it as an MP3. So that's great. You're also going to need iTunes for this because iTunes reorders your list and fixes it up. Um, so I'm going to show you that as well. Alright, so I have iTunes open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the song now as you can see I have it here, but I have no thumbnail image of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up iTunes here. I'm going to drag and drop the song onto it. Let's wait for it to send. As you can see it's sending. All right, so now it's on my iPod. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close out of iTunes. I'm gonna open up Copy Trans Control Center. Now, when you open up the Control Center here, just click on Copy Trans Manager. All right, now since you're in Copy Trans Manager, just click on Start. And now since it's connected to my device, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that song that I just added, Bob. All right, so now I typed in Bob GMB at the top here. You can see here's the song. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hit edit. Now in here, you can change the title. I think this looks all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the artwork. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. Here's where I have my thumbnail. I'm going to open it up. As you see, here it is, and I can hit apply. All right, so now it's got the thumbnail. As you can see, the artist is on the right here, and that's pretty much it. Also, if you don't have the artwork on your desktop, you can always search for artwork. They do have a good list in here. So it's, it's slow, but they have a good list. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit update at the top left, and it should update in this list here on the iPod. As you see, it's updating. So now it's updated. should be in this list to make sure. So as you can see, there it is. I think that's the one. Yeah, right here. As you can see, the, there's the thumbnail. As you can see, it's not in the recently added. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out of this. We don't need that open anymore. We're going to have to open up iTunes again. So after when you're done throwing all of your songs on there, just open up Copy Trans Control Center and just edit all their thumbnails and your, your like text or whatever. You can even do that to songs that are already on your device. And once you're done doing that, you're going to have to open up iTunes. All right, now since your iTunes is open, just click on your um, iPod or your device at the top right here. And now you just have to hit sync. So what it's doing is it's putting everything back in order the way it should be. All right, now as you can see at the recently added, yeah, you see the thumbnail here. I got the name that I wanted. It is perfect and good to go. All right, my iTunes want to take a sweet time, but everything's good now. It is sent over. As you can see, there's recently added. I can click on it and it'll work. As you can see, I kind of screwed up with the little text here, so I can always edit that at any time I feel like it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click um, SharePod here. I'm just going to show you what SharePod does, so I'm just going to close out of iTunes. As you can see, I have the free version of it, so I don't know if you can copy every single song all together, but I do know that you can copy at least one individually. Uh, apparently your iTunes library needs to be open when you use this. I have all my songs and everything here so say if I wanted to copy that Bob one again. There it is as you can see. So I can just right click it and I can click transfer selected to a folder on the desktop and now it should transfer directly to my desktop. There it is. So now I'm just going to close it. The song that it was, this one, to now this one. 
So there you go. I kind of showed you how to edit your songs on your device and be able to pull them off. Now, like I said, my iPod is definitely not jailbroken. I've been thinking about it for quite some time, but I don't want to jailbreak it. So this is um, a good solution on editing your uh, stuff without jailbreaking. If you do have a list there on your on your device, like I did on my iPod here, which was a complete mess with uh, the thumbnails broken, text wasn't in the right area and stuff like that, this will help you clean it out. And this can help you to send it back to your uh, computer because you know, um, Apple is really stingy on order to pull music off of the device and put it back on your computer. So this definitely helps out with that. Yeah, I pretty much covered everything. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Please rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.